Hello, in this quick screencast we're going to take a look at EJS, which is an extension to Express. So, to get started, NetBeans IDE 8.1 provides support for Node.js and Express, and there is a screencast that describes that combination. And the question in my blog was, can we use EJS as an alternative templating engine to Jade? If you look around online, you will see that there's various comments on EJS as an alternative to Jade, telling you how to get started using it. And many instructions can be found. Also, some very opinionated people saying things about Jade and preferring EJS. You can go to the EJS site and you'll find out all about embedded JavaScript. This is an alternative way to express your view. It's a templating engine comparable to Jade, but using a different syntax. We're going to go into NetBeans to the options window, and in the express command field, we're going to add a dash E for engine, so templating engine, and then EJS. So instead of the default Jade, we're going to use EJS. Then we will, as before, create a new express-based application. So this time we say hello EJS. We'll put it somewhere on disk, click Next. We specify we want to use Express, so we'll use the Express application generator. And instead of the Jade templating engine, now the EJS engine will be used instead. What we see immediately in the created application is that NetBeans doesn't recognize the EJS files. We'll fix that soon. We'll first start by using npm install to install everything defined in package.json in the application. Having done that, we're going to take a look at our npm libraries that are installed. Here are the modules, including EJS. Next, let's take a look at those files, EJS. So NetBeans doesn't know what to do with this right now. It has Jade support built in, but not EJS. No problem, we can specify that the HTML editor should open EJS files. And EJS is a lot like HTML with just some embedded JavaScript. If we go into the options window, you can see what we have just done. So by specifying for that particular file that the HTML editor should open the EJS file, we've registered that in the options window automatically. And now we can use code completion, which is the syntax coloring from HTML and so on. Let's take a look in the JavaScript files. You can see here that we have, we've set the title here to hello EJS. We run that and you can see our hello EJS message. Next we have the NetBeans Chrome plugin installed into the Chrome browser, which means we can connect the browser to NetBeans. And as we click on items in the browser, we can see live in NetBeans where those items are found and vice versa. That's it. You have EJS and NetBeans working.